everyone. My name is Roshni Matthew, and I'm a pediatric infectious disease physician at Stanford Children's Health. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children. Multisystem inflammatory syndrome in children is termed MISC for short. We're still learning about MISC from the cases that have been reported from New York and other states in the U.S., as well as um, from Europe, from the UK and Italy. We at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital are well prepared to take care of a child that might present with MISC. What we know about MISC is that it appears to be a delayed response to COVID-19 infection. Many of the children that have presented with MISC have either an infection with the novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19 or have had an exposure to somebody, somebody who has had a confirmed case of COVID-19. MISC causes inflammation in multiple organs of the body, such as the heart, lungs, gastrointestinal tract, skin, eyes. Some of the symptoms that is associated with MISC are the following. Fever, severe abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, red eyes, rash, pain in the chest, or trouble breathing. Some of these symptoms are very common in childhood, but the CDC recommends that the child be taken to emergency care if they present with any of the following symptoms, such as trouble breathing, experiencing pain or pressure in the chest, experiencing unexplained confusion, unable to wake up, or staying awake, having bluish discoloration of the lips or face, or experiencing severe abdominal pain. Although MISC is a serious illness, we can all be reassured that the majority of children who have had MISC have recovered from this condition. Both Kawasaki disease and MISC cause inflammation in the body. Although there are several similarities between Kawasaki disease and MISC, there are several differences as well. Kawasaki disease primarily affects younger children, younger than five years of age, but MISC appears to occur in older children. MISC also appears to present with more severe abdominal symptoms, and many of the children who have had MISC have required intensive care for their management. The CDC is working with health professionals, doctors, scientists in the United States as, as well as internationally to better understand MISC. The CDC also has put out a request for mandatory reporting of all cases of MISC that present to hospitals to better track the patients that come in with MISC and to better understand their presentation. We want to reassure families that while this condition is important to be aware of, we have not so far seen a trend of MISC cases at Stanford Children's Health. And this likely represents the effectiveness of the flattening of the curve and not seeing a surge of COVID-19 cases in the community. As the steps towards shelter in place is going to be loosened, we want to continue to be vigilant with the different precautions in order to remain healthy, such as practicing proper hand hygiene, maintaining six feet social distance in shared spaces, wearing face coverings when outside the home, covering coughs and sneezes, and cleaning high-touch surfaces at home daily. Our healthcare system, our hospital and clinics are a safe place to come into when your child needs routine or emergency care. We have put into place several measures in our institution to make sure our healthcare system is safe. We are requiring everyone to wear a mask, encouraging physical distancing whenever possible, 
limiting the number of visitors, enhanced cleaning and disinfection protocols, and ample access to employee and patient testing. Many of these measures have uh, been found to be effective as we have seen in our testing numbers. Over 99% of our asymptomatic healthcare providers and staff have tested negative for COVID-19. So in conclusion, we want to reassure our families that we are here for you. Please make sure that your child is up to date on their routine immunizations. And if your child is sick, please do not delay care. We want to be sure that we all remain healthy throughout this pandemic. Thank you.